and today we'll be continuing Licorice Recoil. Okay. Okay, this show... It, it, this show is beast right off the bat. I mean, we've only seen an episode so far, but it's not even... It's it's like animated John Wick. Dude, it's, it, it's pretty amazing so far. But anyways, okay. So our two main characters, we have Chisato, which is the blonde-haired chick, and we have... Takina, which is the black haired chick, the one that's the more like quiet and robotic, and Shisato is the more outgoing and what? Yeah, just outgoing and loud and they're they're complete opposites pretty much, but I mean they're working together at least for right now, so. And we seem to have a new bad guy. I don't know if we got his name yet, but he's the dude that he's the voice actor of Kira from JoJo. <laughs> And he also looks kind of like here. I'm not sure what his name is yet, but they right now they're at the Lico Rico Cafe, and whoever the bad guy is in the suit that walked in at the end of last episode, he said hi to Mika or Micah. I think it's Mika. He's the black guy that's at uh, Lico Rico. So I mean, I don't know what's going on quite yet, but. I mean, we're just gonna we're, we're gonna find out, boys. So I'm gonna start three, two, one, wood bam. Okay. 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 Top hacker. Is this the intro? That's a bot. Oh, nice, nice. Okay. Chisato sleeps like a bum. <laughs> oh, there's Kira. <laughs> Yoshi? Ooh, that voice. I love that guy. His voice. So good. Misa Ki. Dude, that looks good. Is that yogurt? Pretty much. She's in space... Spaceman food, bruh. Oh, I'm kind of surprised she actually took that. It doesn't look like she's enjoying it. Where the heck is everybody? Why is this so empty? Is this town only got like eight people? What the heck? Oof. True that. Okay. An ID, some CSI stuff. How are you gonna you gonna zoom up until you get that? Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Let's go. I thought Walnut was dead. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's the right. Oh, wait. 
No, that this wasn't supposed to happen, was it? Or was it? I don't know. I think Walnut's a girl. I'm calling it. In the voice. Yes. True that. She thought it was a dog, bro, really. Mmm, yeah. Okay. Wouldn't... <laughs> Wouldn't it be more hidden if you weren't in a giant walnut suit, a squirrel suit? Wow. Them darn Teslas, boys. <laughs> Robo what? Wow. Okay, okay. That's how they're watching. Oh, that's how uh, the Top Hacker Robo guy's watching, right? Maybe if these guys had, like, drones that weren't bright colors in the air, it'd be a lot harder to see. Okay. Okay. Yo, are they gonna crash? She's up. I'm not gonna question it. How did. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't know. How did. Okay. How did Taki not, not just fly out the car and die? Yo, I like the drip. Dude, I would actually wear that. That was cool looking. I don't know if she was wearing that shirt thing. Oh, okay. I thought it fell. Okay, we're good. Wow. Oh, yeah. Those are AK-47s, right? Or AK-74U? Um, I don't know. <laughs> Good thing a suitcase is bulletproof. Oh, okay, and she's... Dude, they got they got vests on, though, so those might not work so well. She's not... She's she's using lethal rounds. Let's go. Yeah, those are lethal rounds. Chisato might actually need to use lethal rounds on these guys. Dude, this is so beast. I don't I don't know how the show works. Oh. Nothing's hitting her. Bro, if I was that guy, I would just retire at that point. How did you miss all those rounds? Nice, nice. Talking is like, dang. She's not even using lethal rounds and she's beating him. Vaseline and duct tape. Oof. He has to act cool from his homies when they wake up. Ooh, walnut. Oh. Holy crap. 
They did him dirty. It was neither of your guys' fault. Okay, is he a robot? Oh, wait! What? Wait. Hakuna was using her body, oh my gosh, in the battle's protection. Holy crap. She's like eight. Dude, that's so weird. Do not let him see. Kudo me? Kudo me? Oh. Non lethal rounds, let's go. She did not mean that. <laughs> Okay, bro, this show is amazing, boys. Okay, 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 anyways. So, right off the bat, the Allen Institute is either a group or a single person. And they they seek out uh, geniuses, no matter what the circumstances, it helps them out to get them to join the Allen Institute, I guess? Or... So yeah, that's what it seems like anyway. Something like that. But that was it. They kind of dropped it and went on. But right off the bat, <laughs> Chisato sleeps like a bum. <laughs> Did you see? Okay, so she was sleeping on the couch for whatever reason. And she had like trash all around, bro. Like, really? I mean, that, that's kind of, that's some bum sleep stuff. <laughs> okay, so she was running late, it seems. Uh, so she had to eat breakfast on the train to the mission. And Takina, she was eating some like, some baby food, <laughs> space baby food stuff, whatever, whatever, was it Slurp Jello or something weird like that? I don't know, but I th honestly at that point, I'd rather have what Chisato was having rather than what Takina, I, I can't imagine that being too good, but I mean, it probably was good, but I can't imagine that being too filling, but so Kira, the guy, the main baddie, his name is actually Mr. Yoshi. I'm pretty sure his name is Mr. Yoshi. And he's known Mika for 10 years now. So, I don't know if he's just because he's come by. So, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I assume they probably have some what of a backstory between Yoshi and Mika. I, I'm assuming they'll go into it later at some point, maybe, if there even is anything. Okay, and I didn't catch... Okay, I, I now I get it. Okay, so, Misaki got a so in the beginning she got a, a mission or at least a message from the real walnut and it was to dress herself up as walnut and that's what happened okay so i was confused because i remember seeing her but then she was just gone but now it makes sense so she, she got a mission from the real walnut at least i think and she disguised herself as walnut and now that that side, I'm not sure, is it the Allen Institute that's the bad one? Or I'm not sure, but Mr. Yoshi and his people and was it Robota? Robota? I'm not too sure. It, the guy that has a robot mask thing on. They literally think and they have screenshots of them killing Walnut and it looks legit. So now they're going to lower their guard because they think Walnut's dead you know what I mean so now they won't have to worry too much because now they think they're the top dog kind of I'm assuming something like that they think they're the top 
the top Packers now. And even at the end there, Mr. Yoshi said something like he just finally finished a, like a, a long mission or something, and that was to kill Walnut. Well, at least he thinks Walnut's dead. But actually, and I called it. Uh, and also, another thing that it didn't necessarily give it away, but it made me think it was even more going to be a girl. Uh, Walnut. Well, I mean, it technically was. Even though the real Walnut wasn't inside the thing, it still was a chick. But even the real Walnut is a chick. But either way, I was right. But, I mean, the voice, the robotic voice sounded kind of female. But then also, when Chisato mentioned Walnut as being a guy, that made me even more think that I guarantee Walnut's probably going to be a, a chick now. And it was. But I did not see that coming when Walnut... <laughs> Or I guess Misaki got lit up when she walked out of the door. I did not see that coming. And I seriously thought, bro, they got, I literally thought, yeah, okay, they're dead. 100%. I don't know how you lived through that. Either it's a robot or something, but no. What I didn't see coming at all, and it makes sense now because, uh, the I was thinking either Walnut was going to be a robot or something because the way they kept wording their entire life is in that suitcase they kept saying that like their entire everything their life is in that suitcase and they weren't joking their life was indeed in that suitcase because they were in it that's why they were so protective of the suit I mean it makes sense now I was starting to think it was a robot the way they were talking about it like their living parts are in there but no it they truly were in the suitcase so that was that was quite amazing but <laughs> talking i was literally using the suitcase i mean for like cover <laughs> dude that must have been so scary you're in the suitcase being shot at by hundreds of bullets thankfully the thing is bulletproof because that would have been terrible okay how do you pronounce walnut's name now is it kodomi kodomi how do you say it? Yeah, I'm not sure how you say it. Kodomi? Kodo? Kodo? Because uh, Walnut herself said her name differently than Chisato said her name. So I'm not too sure how to pronounce that name. Let me check again. Kudumi. So she pronounced it Kudumi. But then Chisato says Kurumi? I don't know. They, they're saying two different things. I don't know how to pronounce her name. But anyways, it's funny. When they're in the car when Walnut's driving, or the, I mean the car's driving, She meant, uh, Walnut mentions that she's trying to stay incognito, incognito and not let people know her identity. Yet, she dresses as a squirrel. What? Could you be any more like... I mean, why can't you just... I mean, I guess she is like eight, so it would be kind of sus. Okay, I, I anything but a squirrel, really? Your name's literally Walnut. I mean, I would dress as anything else but a squirrel. Like, that's the last... I actually, besides a walnut and a squirrel, I would dress as literally anything else. I mean, why would you dress as that? I don't know, boys, but... But yeah, I'm not too sure. Okay, they mentioned the Allen Institute in the very beginning. Is the Allen Institute what Mr. Yoshi's part of? Like, is that... And is it Robota? I'm not sure how to pronounce that name either. Because the, they got... We got Walnut and we got Robota. And they're, like, fighting to be the top hacker, I think. Something like that. I'm not sure, but... Dude. The fighting... The shooting scenes in the show are, like, top tier, boys. And also, thank God, these henchmen that they were fighting with AKs were horrific aim. They literally shot like stormtroopers. Okay, literally, Chisato's right here, and I'm standing right here, and I have an AK-47, and I'm missing... <laughs> I'm missing every... Literally. Like, that was crazy. That was like the scene from the new Batman movie, when they're shooting Batman... With the guns up close to shoot his face, but they're like shooting his body. I mean, like, what the frick? Good thing they're terrible aim, because that could have been terrible. And it was kind of cool to see Takina see Chisato 
absolutely decimate all the bad guys while using non-lethal rounds. Because you could see her seeing that, like, some cogs were turning, like, dang, she's using non-lethal rounds and she's still defeating all of the baddies. And I feel like at the end there, that was like a sign of one of two things. One or uh, one of or one or the other. So what I'm thinking it was, was we took her hairband out and she shot it. That could mean either that she's trying to become more friendly and not so robotic. Or it was to show that she is now going to start using non-lethal rounds. Because it's like a gun. But obviously, it was a rubber band, so it's non-lethal. You know what I mean? It's one or the other, or it's both. I'm not sure, but... It was funny. Right when she shot, <clears throat> Chisato moved her head. <laughs> she ended up shooting Walnut in the head. I still don't know how to say it. I think it's Kodomi. Kodomi? So she ended up shooting Kodomi in the, in the face instead. That was cool. I mean, that was just like an Inception moment when they were in the car. And you hear Walnut start speaking. I'm like, bro, what? And then the real walnut was inside the suitcase and Misaki was actually in the suit I was starting to think but it got lit up so much that I was like okay I wasn't thinking there was a person in there after that if there was somehow were to still be alive it was either going to be a robot or they're just a dead body because I mean that looked terrible I don't know but also the one thing that looked kind of sus when uh, they showed it from the side of the of Walnut being shot. Not a single bullet went through Walnut. I thought that was kind of weird, but I just thought it is what it is. Because you see get completely lit up in the front, but not a single one of those bullets actually went through the back. So that maybe Well, I noticed it, and I thought it was kind of strange, but I just thought maybe it was like an animation thing or something. But no, it was because the bullets didn't actually go through it was bulletproof so that was cool but yeah i am enjoying the show a lot boys so the whole squad now is takina chisato mika misaki uh kodomi am i saying i i don't know and yeah that's it right there's only four of all oh, five now right five main and the main baddie so far is Mr. Yoshi and Robota Robota Robo something I don't know the top hacker guy who thinks he's top hacker well now he thinks he is because he thinks they killed Walnut but actually Walnut's not dead but Mr. Yoshi I keep wanting to say Master Yoshi Mr. Yoshi He's starting to question what exactly they do here at Liko Rico. So he is starting to question things. He's getting a little suspicious of what's going on. So it only took him 10 years, but <laughs> he's starting to now question what could be going on here. So, but yeah, it is cool to see Takina. She seems to be warming up to the squad. So I don't know. Yeah, I'm in here, boys. Fantastic show. And. I don't know. I absolutely love this show, boys. It's it's so good. So, yeah. And it, it's just so... <laughs> Jisato and Takina are so cute together. I don't know. Like, the way they interact with each other. I, I don't know. It's, I don't know. All right. Yeah, I'm done, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.